All right. So let's talk about my, one of these new apps that just became my favorite in the last day or so, and it's called Enclave. I'm currently installing it. You just do this on an iPhone by going to the App Store and type in Enclave, that's E-N-C-L-A-V-E, -E, search for it, and make sure it's the one called Enclave Local AI Assistant, Anonymous Offline Private AI. And you can see it has, you know, not that many reviews, so it's indicating it's really kind of a new thing. And the reviews are really good, and I just happened to find it because I was searching for a local AI solution that does not reach out to the cloud at all. That means maybe I'm on an airplane with no internet, and I can search and research data from my phone, basically anything I want. And, well, anything that's up to a certain date in time when the data was captured, but still, really cool. So look, I'll show you why I like this. We're going to open it up, and it says, welcome, here's your private AI companion, talks about privacy. Now, privacy stuff, yes, that's great from the app developer standpoint and such, but I can't guarantee anything is not captured by Apple themselves because, I mean, heck, your phone can have any kind of spyware in it. We don't know that. I mean, there's a system on a chip inside the phone that could talk to something when the phone's off. We don't know that. But the app itself and the person who developed the app are talking about being honest and not capturing your data. I like that. And I'm going to use this app because of that and because it seems really good. It's it's a little buggy. There's a few things I'll show you when I'm talking about. Uh, first off, you look here, there's a chat box. And if you tap here up at the top left, those little three bars, it tells you what AI model it's using. It's using the default Meta Llama 3.2, 1 billion parameters, I think that means. But you can see there's other options like DeepSeek R1, uh, the distilled Quen version. And I tried that one on here, and I didn't have any luck with it. It wasn't answering things very well. I don't know what's up with that, but I just kept the default one, the Meta Llama 3.2, and it seems to work really well. There are cloud models that you can select, but I'm going to stick with local. And you can click plus up here, model manager, and, and, and I, I don't know, there's like, you could type in the Hugging Face URL and download even more models, which shows the power of this. But I'm going to stick with these recommended ones that are probably going to run good on a mobile phone that doesn't have an NVIDIA <laughs> GPU inside of it, right? I'm going to stick with the ones they recommend. I'm going to trust them on that. Now, the Assistant, it's like the Helpful Assistant. It says similar to ChatGPT. I'm going to also keep the generic one selected that they already had selected. There are Word Game Master, like type, you know assistance that you can pick if you click plus you have to know how to type in some system prompts and give it a name and stuff. i'm not going to mess with any of that i'm keeping it simple again I'm keeping the defaults and temperature i'm not going to mess with that the default was 0 0.5 and all these settings the only one i recommend to turn off is haptic feedback i tried this and being that the haptic feedback is very accurate on iphone you know iphones have superior haptic feedback engines when compared to other mobile devices. Trust me on that. They they are pretty accurate. It utilizes every vibration of every letter coming up on the screen, and it's just overwhelming. It's like the phone just is going crazy when it comes up with an answer. So I just turned this off. You could try it out to see what I'm talking about if you want. Uh, let's go to done. And now we're back at the main screen where we can ask it a question. And again, you can ask these questions with no data on your phone at all. And let's try something like what is the capital of Michigan? Question mark. Instant. That was very fast. The capital of Michigan is Lansing. Okay. So let's try something like, uh, give me an efficient way to pack my luggage. I mean, this is insanely fast. So check the weather. Okay, plan your outfits. Packing strategies. It's still going to come up with them. And what I was talking about with that haptic feedback, as every one of these letters is generated while it's coming up with an answer, it would just vibrate like crazy. Now, um, the headphones icon, I'm not going to tap that because it could mess with the recording. It lets you talk to the, the assistant in, in some way. I don't know how that functions. I did not even uh, review that. The plus sign to the left of the box, if that's got your attention at all, that's so you can basically feed it a file, like maybe a PDF that you have on your phone, and have it talk to it and get the data out of it. I basically took uh, one of my AT&T account bills 
and asked it questions about it and it worked. So I don't know how good or accurate that is, but again, your mileage may vary. You could try it out. Up at the top right, you will see like the little pen and paper. That's to start a new conversation. I'll show you that. And if you tap that, it's a blank chat again. Now you can start asking new questions. So it's, you know, different context to what you were working on earlier. And that little clock to the left of that icon up at the top, that's so you can go back to the other conversations that you had. Yeah, let's start with um, what color is a banana? It's typically yellow. Okay, it knows to say typically because there can be the green banana can be green, right? If it's not too ripe, so that's cool. Uh, let's let's ask it what other colors can a banana be? <laughs> this is this is really impressive. I, I'm I'm just impressed by this being a local model on a smartphone. Now, what phone would this run on? I read some of the reviews. I don't know if this is confirmed, but some people say they've had this running on an iPhone 12, which is, I think that's fair. It's, it's not an old, old phone, and it's not definitely not the newest phone. I'm using an iPhone 15 Pro Max, so I don't have the very newest phone, but I would say anything iPhone 15 Pro or newer is definitely going to do a great job, like you see here. And I'm screen recording at the same time I'm using this, and it's not having any issues. So... Now that we started that new chat, let's tap that little clock icon up at the top right real quick just to show you what I was talking about. It shows you the conversation history, and it's got pretty much what you asked it as the title of the chat. The issue I have here is you can't remove any of the conversations, or at least in this version, I don't see a way to do that. I tried swiping. I tried holding down on the conversation. There's no way to delete it other than removing the app and reinstalling it because unlike Android, on iOS at least, most of the apps don't have a feature or in the settings to go to the app and clear the app data. You just remove the app because it's like a container and just reinstall it. And then the data comes back. Now, maybe there'll be, there'll be iCloud functionality where you can delete the data from iCloud, but then we're not being fully local, are we? So you can see, here's those conversations. You can jump between them. I could go back to what is the capital of Michigan chat that I had, and there it is. But again, Right now, I don't know of a way to delete these conversations if you wanted to free up space or just get rid of clutter. But whatever. It's, this is free. This is amazing. And I hope you check it out because I think it's pretty cool. Thanks for watching.